Hello there, my name is Chai Kaho and I am an electrical and electronic student from University of Malaysia Pahang and this is my final year project. Ultrasonic sensor approach can only work in controlled indoor environment. Besides, the ultrasonic way is not applicable in on-street parking where the parking area is located along the traffic flow where the traffic may interfere the detection of ultrasonic sensor. As for induction loop, it is not a very good approach due to its complexity in installation. Induction loop are sometimes not accurate as well due to the fluctuations in energy level whenever there exists vehicle on top of it. Hence, my lecturer and I has come up with a solution to detect vehicle using magnetic sensor. This is the overall system block diagram where it classified into two parts namely wireless sensor node and control terminal. On wireless control node sites, the magnetometer will send its reading via I2C protocol to Arduino and then the data will transmit wirelessly via 2.4 GHz RF transmitter. On control terminal sites, the data will be received by RF receiver and data will be delivered to bigger bone black via UART serial communication. The availability of parking space is determined by the finite state machine shown. The state machine will consist of three states, namely init, vacant and occupied. Init is the initialization phase where the system gathers surrounding magnetic reading and calculates surrounding threshold. Next, vacant is the state where no vehicle is above the parking slot. During this state, the system will continue to detect if there exists any big disruption in surrounding magnetic field. Input ZZZ equal to 1 refers to there is big changes in magnetic field compared to initial value. ZZZ equal to 0 refers to no major changes in magnetic field. When there is a major changes, it will move to next state namely occupied. Now is the demonstration of the system. Notice that the system has been initialized and surrounding magnetic value threshold has been calculated. The sensor will be placed in the center of the car park. As you can see, in vacant state, the system will keep running and shows the magnetic reading. When the car is parked using forward parking and big magnetic changes has been detected, the system will now show occupied. For reverse parking, the system initially is in vacant state where it will display the reading of surrounding magnetic field. When the car is parked, the system will move to occupied state. Thanks for following and watching.